problem. If you see it, operate on it. How about that? Um, we'll go really quick. Everyone's very familiar. Cot Aquinas syndrome is one of the more serious things that we may face in our practice occasionally. It's a syndrome of uh, severe back pain. It can have motor and sensory deficits and then saddle anesthesia with or without bowel and bladder control issues. It's usually due to a massive central disc, although it can be due to other compressive lesions. It's said to be seen in about one to three percent of disc herniations, which seems a little high to me, but um, that's what the literature says. Uh, it's probably worth noting that this is a very heterogeneous condition, and that's probably one of the takeaway points. There's different versions of this. You have the incomplete uh, version where you really don't have loss of bowel and bladder, but your, your stream is reduced or there's uh, a diminished uh, sense of needing to, to void. Supposedly early surgery is more effective in this subset. There's a motor variant where you don't actually have bowel and bladder issues, but you have more motor loss. Um, and then there's the more traditional complete issue where someone has, you know, urine running down their leg after a period of urinary retention. Supposedly in that group, timing of surgery may be less critical, but again, this is very heterogeneous. There's a whole bunch of studies, and I think to summarize these, we could say that um, as time's gone on and as people have looked at this more carefully, there has been a, a growing sense, but not absolutely agreed to, that, that timing may make a difference. And I think I say may because there may be subsets where it matters and subsets where it doesn't matter. But if we kind of summarize through this literature very quickly in the interest of uh, time, more recent studies that look at this from a medical legal perspective, which I think is what this often comes down to, suggest that the odds of a medical legal malpractice event are much higher if there's a delay. And so I think from a practical standpoint, we can't always control the outcome of these patients. Some of them, the die is probably cast in the disease process and they may or may not improve. But if we've done our best to uh, operate the, on them as soon as we become aware, I think one, it gives those that could have a chance to improve every opportunity. And for those that aren't going to improve anyway, we've protected ourselves from a medical legal perspective in this you know, difficult problem. Thank you.